Hi everyone, I'm Sharon Smith, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate formatting your reports in Microsoft Excel using Office Scripts. I'm excited to show you this today because it's gonna save you so much time. Let's take a look. Now, if you have a work or enterprise version of Microsoft 365 and you open up Excel, either the web or desktop app version, you'll see this automate tab. And if you, for any reason that you don't see the Automate tab, it's possible that your IT administrators may have disabled it. But if you do see the Automate tab, you're gonna be able to create an Office script and run it. So we're gonna do that to format this report. So we're gonna do this once, and then all we have to do with the click of a button next time we run the report is run the script and it'll auto format for us. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna click on Automate. And this is a report that I've run out of my HRIS system, and I normally spend a few minutes formatting it. So I'm gonna record all of those actions right now. So I'm gonna click on Record Actions. And over here, it opens up the Record Actions panel, and it's going to start recording the different actions that I take. So the first thing I wanna do is auto-fit the columns. So I'm gonna select everything and double-click to auto-fit the columns. And notice that each action that I perform, it's gonna record the action over here on the right-hand side. So the next thing I wanna do is format the header row. So I'm gonna click Control, Shift, Right Arrow, select all of the headers on the first row, Go to my Home tab, click on Bold, Center, and select a fill color for that. The next thing I wanna do is I see that I have my salary column. I'm gonna select the whole column and reformat that as currency. And then the next thing I wanna do is add a column for age next to the date of birth. So I'm going to right click, insert a column, and we'll call this age. And over here, I've got my spreadsheet formula that I can use. I'm gonna hit Control C to copy that. We're gonna come back over, I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna hit Equals and then Control V to paste my formula in here. I'm gonna change the cell reference of A2. I'm gonna change that to S2 since that's where we have the date of birth. Place my cursor here at the end and hit Enter. And that calculates the age and I'm gonna double click and fill that down. So notice that every action that I've taken has been recorded over here on the right-hand side. So when I'm done, I can click on Stop. So all my actions have been saved as a new Office script. So I can click on Edit, and I can click on the name here and rename it. We can call this Format EE Report, and hit Enter. And if I open this up a little bit, you can see the syntax down here of the Office scripts that have been generated for each of the actions. You'll notice in green here with the two slashes, it's a comment or an explanation of the script below. And so we can see here, we don't have to know the script language in order to write it. It records it for us as we go, and we can test test this on our new report. So we haven't made any edits, so we don't have to save this. So I'm just gonna bring this back over. Now let's go ahead and click on our next report column over here. It's a similar report. It's the same columns, the same report that we ran previously out of our HRIS system. We exported it into Excel, and now we just want to click a button and have all of our formatting applied. So I still have my code editor over here. I could just click Run, but more than likely you might want to come back up to your Automate tab if you don't have the code editor open, and you'll see your most recent Office script up over here, and you would be able to click on that and run it from there. So I'm just going to click on Run. And notice that my script ran, and with just a click of a button, all of my actions to auto-fit the columns, create the header, add the age column over here, and it added it, notice that it was a dynamic range. It recorded the script correctly as a dynamic range and updated the entire column, even though we had more rows of data, which is great. And it formatted the entire column over here with the currency format. So that's how you would create an Office script and automate your report formatting with just the click of a button. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.